The boom in alternative and complementary healthcare choices in recent years has been great in many ways, but it's also caused a big problem. Well, many patients aren't telling their primary care physicians about how they're using these new modalities for fear of disapproval. Yes, this obviously isn't safe. So we've been consulting some experts on how to deal with this issue. You can't expect every doctor to embrace all aspects of complementary medicine, but at least they should understand what that is and be open to it. Dr. Ronald Hoffman is a New York City physician and nutritional expert who's thought a lot about the relationship between doctor and patient. In fact, he's written a book about navigating the complications created by all the new options in complementary, alternative, and integrative medicine. Sue Taggart is a New York City communications executive who knows a lot about those complications. Her preference for natural treatments launched her on a personal healing quest that turned out to be a huge challenge. Menopause was a very frustrating time for me. I could not find a doctor that would listen to me and that would help me through it without having a hysterectomy. In fact, I saw seven OBGYNs before I finally found a doctor that would work with me in a more natural way and to help me through this without having to have HRT or, as I said, having a hysterectomy. What were the seven doctors that you talked to? What did they want to do? They, did they all say the same thing? Every single OBGYN that I saw, including the one that uh, had been treating me for about 10 years, their first thing out of their mouth was hysterectomy. Every single one said the same thing. And I knew that wasn't for me. I knew that what I was going through was a natural thing for women of my age. Yes, I had a lot of very bad symptoms, but I didn't think I needed to have half of my insides removed to deal with them. The mineral is inside the shell. Sue's healing quest was a long and frustrating one. But Dr. Hoffman agrees with her decision to keep looking until she found the right physician for her. If you have a doctor who's A, openly contemptuous of your desire to do natural medicine, it's time to moveon.org. <laughs> you know, you really should get a new doctor. Uh, if you have a doctor who's ignorant of these things, you know, that's a different story. So the doctor may say, look, I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm willing to uh, look at the possibility that this may help you and monitor your health while you do this, because I want to keep you safe. Sue Taggart's quest to find the right doctor was a long journey, but she says the result was well worth the effort. It took me about 18 months to find the right doctor, and she had a wonderful network of doctors that work both traditionally and integratively with either supplements or herbs or Chinese medicine, acupuncture. And to get me through menopause, I used everything available to me, and then some. And how are you feeling now? Right now, it's over. <laughs> so it took seven years from beginning to end, um, a lot of frustration. And, but I'm really, I'm very happy that I stuck with it and came through it, you know, finding a doctor that would actually listen to what I wanted. Because at the end of the day, I think you know your own body and you know what you're prepared to do. And you need to work with a physician that will help you do that. Another challenging doctor-patient topic these days is the use of supplements during cancer treatments. The, the fact of the matter is that there is some controversy about some nutrients in regard to chemotherapy. But the vast majority of studies are showing that nutritional supplementation is not only not harmful, but beneficial. And you just have to know a little bit about which supplements are compatible with radiation or with various chemo drugs. Uh, but to put a blanket prohibition on taking supplements uh, is, is so detrimental to the patient. And it's also so disempowering because patients say, what can I do to help this? And when they're told there's nothing you can do, let us take care of you. Patients die more frequently. Disempowered patients actually have a higher rate of succumbing to their cancer. So you want to engage that, that participation. Dr. Hoffman says finding a physician committed to fully engaging their patients in the new health options isn't always easy, but he does recommend one source. My favorite is the American College for Advancement of Medicine, ACAM.org. Uh, there are doctors all over the country and in Canada and throughout the world who are members of ACAM, but it doesn't preclude the possibility that someone who's not a member of ACAM could be the right doctor for you. And for some people, it's not an MD. It may be a naturopathic doctor or a nutritionally oriented chiropractor, uh, an osteopathic physician or a uh, master's uh, degree nutritionist or you know, maybe even a, a gifted healer who understands these things.
And he says finding the right doctor is well worth the effort so that the patient can participate in their own healing journey. We really want patients to participate actively in their care, to learn about and understand what we're doing, so it takes time to explain it. But patients who uh, understand what the process is about uh, do better. It's important to note that many physicians are getting a lot better about talking with their patients about alternative and complementary health care options. In the last 10 years, I've been covering this topic, and I've seen a really big shift. But frankly, we still have a long way to go to make sure we have the best possible doctor-patient relationship. Especially for patients who really want to get actively involved in their own wellness. And once again, if you want to find an integrative doctor via the American College for Advancement in Medicine, which Dr. Hoffman recommends, their website is acam.org. Or you can come to the Healing Quest website and we'll have a link for you there. ACAM, by the way, has more than 1,000 members in 30 countries. <laughs>